Hello, I'm Jennifer Castoldi. I'm the founder of Trendies International. We've been around for 13 years, and basically we travel to over 100 design events around the world every year, scouting new innovations, new talent, and market directions. And we publish this online, give lectures, write for uh, numerous magazines around the world. And this year, it's really exciting because FESPA has asked me to curate interiors and we're working with a number of different exhibitors to come up with a unique hotel concept. Getting involved with Printeriors 2016 was pretty much a no-brainer for me. I've been working with art and design for over 20 years, uh, running Trendies for 13, and working with digital print for four years now. I've been working with uh, machine manufacturers, print service providers, and also designers and manufacturers who utilize print. So what I think is really important to find at Printeriors is education. So many designers and manufacturers within the decorative sector are getting into digitally printed design. So to be able to talk with the people who make the machines, who innovate the printing technologies, it's a great opportunity to learn about the capabilities and push the boundary of print. So the print hotel concept is all about each exhibitor having a blank canvas to show off what they can do with print. Choosing a concept hotel as an idea was quite an interesting way to go about showing digital print because you have so many options. It can be a bedroom, a lounge, reception, a bar, uh, any type of, of room that, that is part of a hotel, even a store. So this is their opportunity to really shine, to be peacocks and spread their tails of what they can do with digital print. It might be uh, you know, a printed bed or uh, a printed bar, even lighting uh, or a, a t-shirt that's hanging on the wall in a closet. Everything will be printed, even a bicycle. There are so many different trends going on right now. There are quite a few that are perfect for digital print. Uh, for example, this whole raw and precious trend, lots of uh, natural materials like stone and marble and wood and uh, geodes, these things can be replicated perfectly with digital print. That you, you don't even know it's printed. Your eyes don't believe what's going on. They think that's got to be marble and then you go up and you touch it and it's not. Other things that are really good for printing trends are looking at this color gradation where you have no distinction between one, one color and another. There's this color bleed, which is really important. Think of uh, like tie dyes or ink splotches. These are super important right now in design in everything from wall coverings to upholstery and even uh, ceramic pieces for tabletop. I'm really curious to see the application of print on so many different materials. So it's not just paper, it's not vinyl, it's not ceramic and glass. You can mix with so many different materials and textures and the different uh, ways of printing everything from uh, latex to sub sublimation and, and um, all the different techniques can really bring through something unique, something different and pushing the boundary of what print can be. So there are lots of reasons why digital print is important for design, for technical reasons. Uh, you're not limited to, um, to scale. You, you don't have to have a repeat. You can have something that's super size and it goes off the product, off the wall. Uh, you, you're not limited to colors. You can do the entire gradation for the rainbow and uh, what else? We, for the business people, you don't have to stock things anymore. You can print on demand, so that saves a lot of overhead. And it allows you to be on trend, because you can continuously change things, tweak collections, and even print one-of-a-kind pieces. You have the advantages of customization, individualization, whether it's for a single customer to do one piece, for a special project, or it's a production run of doing uh, thousands of pieces. 
So I've visited FESPA a few times now as a visitor, as a journalist, uh, as someone who's exploring the market because I see how important digital is becoming and there is Right now there's a big divide because there's a lack of, of education. Because it's something new, you have uh, designers that need to learn about how the printing actually works, what are the capabilities, and then you have uh, the manufacturers and the print service providers that need to understand how to communicate to the people who are actually going to be specifying these printed projects. So by going to FESPA, which is a federation that supports the printing industry, Going to their different events, it is a great opportunity to network, to learn about new capabilities, to educate yourself, and to meet some pretty amazing people. So right now for digital print, we see a lot of things like uh, wallpaper, uh, curtains, because this is volume. Printers are used to, to dealing with volume. As the market emerges, we're going to see a lot more application on smaller pieces and go, oh, I never thought that you could print an electrical socket or the kick plate of a wall. Uh, everything from uh, ceramics to glass, printing on mirrors, doors, ceilings, really any surface that you see, you can print on. Uh, you can print on a coffee maker, do a wrap around anything, a bike. Print can be on whatever you want. So I'm really curious to see what the exhibitors are going to do for printeriors. I'm always looking around and I see things that, that make me laugh sometimes, like a digitally printed toilet seat. Uh, but then there are things that are quite sophisticated, like printing on a silk with uh, LEDs and crystals for a customized uh, wall covering project. Or even I've seen like eclairs being printed on. I imagine it's digital, but you can, yeah. Edible print, uh, printing on mirrors, printing on, on clothing. Really, it's it's something that's quite curious because your imagination is your only limitation. So there are some amazing possibilities that we can see, for example, with restaurants. They can start changing their interior almost for every event. If they have a private party, they can put up a special wall covering just for that party, saying happy birthday, happy anniversary, or use their favorite color, favorite motif. And because of not only the printing technology, but the different substrates, you can put it up almost like a sticky note and just take it right off. And you can do this daily if you wanted to. Because of the technology, you have different price levels, so it doesn't necessarily have to be very expensive. Or on the other hand, you could do something extremely luxurious with digital print. So it's really what you, what you want to make out of it. And the same is for retailers. You can change your window display every week. Instead of doing it seasonally, you can do a different uh, backdrop printed, you could do decals on the windows, different printed dresses on the mannequins, different printed plates, different printed tables. Really, everything changes now, and you can do it like that because it's print on demand and it can be done instantaneously. The two things that pop into my mind about differences as far as uh, countries or locations in, in creation, for example, I would say that the UK is one of the best countries in the world for surface design and print. The schools here are really strong in producing talent that understands how to come up with surface designs and different uh, patterns and repeats. Whereas in uh, the Netherlands, the Dutch are extremely good at human-centered design. So they really look at uh, lifestyle shifts, societal shifts, and they design product around our lives changing. So there are different countries that are, are good at different things. Or if you look at uh, Thailand, for example, they're really good at doing sustainable design and using natural resources. visiting printeriors is important because it's really the only place that you can go right now to see what is available to to create with to produce with it's it's a place where you can go and see the applications in like real terms as far as the different hotel concepts but also right there you're in the middle of FESPA so you have the opportunity to go out and to talk to the people who are producing the machines and coming up with the latest technology of printing so it's a great opportunity to to learn and understand the possibilities 
You can learn about the different materials that you can print on, different types of printing, the different types of inks, the different types of substrates, applications. I mean, whoever thought of printing on the ceiling? You know, you can just print on anything, and I think that's what they can take away with the fact that they can use their imagination to print on any surface. So at Printeriors in the Print Hotel, we're going to have over a dozen rooms. And what's really exciting is it's very international. Already I've been working with companies in, in Turkey, in the UK, in the Netherlands, and in Italy. So we're really going to see an international flair of print. I'm quite curious to see how the CPF bar turns out. It's this coffee cube bar. It's got coffee beans on one side. The ceiling wall and floor are covered with books. And then you've got a, a texture wood on another wall. And they really took advantage of printing on every surface. Frameless has piqued my interest with this innovative fabric tension system that they're doing. It's UV printed on 100% polyester. M44, which has also produced the Printerior's Cafe, has done a room, a lounge, that has a, a print that's going to be pointing over to the cafe. So it's going to be playing with two different spaces. This one makes me smile because uh, PPP from the Netherlands, they're doing an elevator and a shower. And those aren't two things you normally think of together, but they've really taken the opportunity to play with different materials and textures. That is going to be a, a showstopper as far as application goes for print. So David Bartlett from the UK, he's showing off his digitally printed cardboard furniture as a pop-up shop for our hotel concept. And we also have Fespa Italia bringing that Italian style to printeriors. And they're going to be having five rooms, everything from reception to lounge, also a bedroom and bathroom, and a cafe, even a bike, coffee maker, and some apparel. So they'll be looking at all the fine details that print can provide. This is just a taste of some of the rooms that you'll be able to see at Printeriors. There are more on the way. There's even going to be an interactive room where the designs are going to evolve over the course of the show. And we're going to have Fespa Netherlands there. A lot to see, so don't miss out. Well, being the curator for Printeriors has been quite exciting because I thought I knew print, but what I realized is I only know the tip of the iceberg. So visitors, can come and learn so much about print applications and different technologies. If I've learned stuff curating this hotel, they're going to learn even more by coming to visit. So Printeriors isn't just a show within FESPA. Also on March 10th, there's going to be a whole day conference series. You'll have keynote speakers like Mr. Alessi and uh, trend forecasters WGSN. So there'll be a lot going on besides just checking out these hotel rooms. A visit to Printeriors 2016 is invaluable because you can really see the latest innovations in print technologies. Who should visit Printeriors? Oh, that's easy. Anyone working with print, whether you're an interior designer, a product designer, an architect, a retailer, a restaurateur, anyone who's going to work with print for any surface should come on over to Amsterdam.